All right, uh, tough, tough ball game, you know, in versus a really good football team. Drake Bay uh, is a football player. I mean, regardless of what coverage we put at him, you know, the guy seemed to make a lot of plays. Uh, you know, you know, obviously Coach Cook left uh, in the first half uh, with, with an injury, and uh, that hurt us. I thought Bill really played well uh, in the first half, and uh, made a lot of plays, took that opening drive down the field. Uh, for a touchdown, it's a bit of drive. Um, and Gavin Bartholomew played well. I mean, Kenny Johnson, you saw uh, what kind of big plays he could make on the kickoff return. Um, you know, block punt, second half by Miles. That's his second of the year, true freshman uh, from, from Columbus, Ohio. I mean, he's, he's got a knack. He almost got another one, it looked like, out there. Um, but we had our opportunities. We had our opportunities in the second half. Uh, my observation from, from the sideline is, is uh, your kids play hard, never quit. Um, we got three turnovers in the second half. Three turnovers in the second half with Drake Bay, quarterback. Um, you know, you, you're going to have problems. Two interceptions, a fumble. The one that really hurt after that block put, you know, we got the ball to plus 20. You know, again, you're talking about a 17 point game. We had our opportunities in the second half and didn't convert. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, just, you know, a lot of things happened. You know, penalties, you know, the lopsided today. Uh, started with that strip sack. I thought it was a sack. Uh, sack strip. And, you know, they get the ball. Um, that was a big play for our defense that you know didn't uh, pan out that way. Uh, our punt team uh, gave up two returns, uh, and uh, from from the sideline, you know, you can't put the ball in the middle field and let the guy. You know, I don't, I don't know what they did with our gunners. You can see it, uh, but uh, we put the ball in the middle field. And Doug has been great all year, putting you know outside the outside the hashes, uh, but we put it in the middle of the field. And, uh, so we, we got to clean that up this week. Um, you know, give a pump turn for a touchdown. We looked at 17 points and, and uh, the opportunity, we had opportunities again against a really good football team. Uh, and uh, again, the second half, hurt us with three turnovers. Uh, so, question. Pat, is is Phil in the protocol or is, is uh, do you know his, the, the extent of that? Um, he's not in, in protocol. Pat, what, what does it say about Phil who, you know, he's been through a lot these last couple of weeks. What does it say about him to come out here and, and play like he did in the first half today? You know, um, you know, it's, it, it, I wish he'd have got four quarters. I wish he'd have got four quarters. Um, you know, he didn't turn it over at all in the first half. Uh, you know, made good decisions, threw it away on their sidelines at one time. Uh, you know, when he didn't have time. Again, protection wasn't great, as you guys know, you know, you know, Four different offensive line in there, like four games. Um, you know, you know, uh, you know, had two starters out this week, uh, and uh, you know, we'll look and see. But you know, we gave up two sacks; they had five. You know, we got five sacks on them. So, can you protect the quarterback? You know, not as well as we want to. You know, they took some hits. Uh, Phil did a good job running it, and, and uh, you know, we thought we had one in the second half, a deep ball. But you know, Christian did have a chance of that you know, whack. Quickly, too quickly yeah. on protection that we had extra guys and got beat inside. It was chip protection. They get chip protection and you know, we'll chip in the end, and then you should never ever get beat inside because you know you got you know chip help outside. And uh, you know, protection wise, we did best to, to, you know, to protect our quarterbacks all day, knowing what we were lining up with as far as personnel goes. So, Pat, Phil completed his first seven throws, but was for pretty, for pretty short yardage. Was there kind of a concerted effort to get him some of that underneath stuff to get his feet underneath him? Or what was that kind of plan early on for, for him to kind of get established there? Well, completed passes and, and uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it didn't matter what was called. We you know, tried to get the ball where what we thought was open and, and uh, they weren't called you know, easy passes. You know, there's no easy passes <laughs> um, out there. Uh, and uh, you can see the second half with some short throws and tips and, and the balls going around and like, oh, Hold your breath that it's not another interception. So, um, you know, it's just part of the game plan. We tried, I'm sorry, we tried some different things in the secondary to try to even confuse or just give them different goals. We did a lot of different stuff um, back there, but, you know, I, I've never seen so many passes caught on the side. I mean, just, you know, it's great execution by them. We got guys in coverage. The only big one we gave up was um, they kind of ran a spin route on us um, to get off looking. Really, what exactly happened? I think they lined up a trip punch. You know, they gave up a 52 yarder in the second half in the first series, I believe, which, which hurt. Um, and, uh, but, you know, Drake Bay's is a quarterback, guys. I mean, I, mean, you know, I don't know how many throws he missed, but we, we put pressure on him. He did beat us with his feet sometimes down, you know, down inside the red zone uh, where we had coverage. All of a sudden, he takes off running. It's like, you know, uh, 
it's hard when you know, they block with five and, uh, or six guys and you've got four man rush or whatever it is, five man rush, and when he slips out the game guard. So, um, you know, there were some good coverage sacks, I can tell you that. Matt, with, the, with more shuffling on the offensive line, do you feel like the protection was improved tonight from what you had last week and maybe the week before? Um, yes and no, in some plays, but you know, we had our chances. We got, we got to do a better job protecting. Again, I got faith in all these guys in there, like I told them, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I told them last week, you know, during the week, you remember coming in here against the Virginia Tech team, about 21 guys down. How do you know that? Tom Heather, I don't know if he's playing the game. And our, you know, we had backups across the board. We, you know, I think our guys got, you know, um, excited about that. Just, you know, it doesn't matter who's out there. We, had, we still had a chance to win with the makeshift offensive line. Um, and uh, we had a chance. We just didn't make enough plays in the second half. And we really gave it to them. Pat, you guys had 11 penalties, 33 yards. I mean, what, what do you have to do to minimize the self-sustain? Yeah, well, you know, we had a taunting penalty after a big hit by Donovan and McMillan. And, um, but, you know, you know, from my observation, you know, there were some calls that were made that, you know, I didn't really care for. So, um, I see it go both ways, and we didn't take that call today. So, I guess it's part of us. We, we are up against the deadline here that we're going to take two more. Chris, you got this one. What do you guys have to do better against, I guess, Drake Mann with four or five touchdowns to start the game? Your offense have, did have a hot start. I know that he limits how much you can do. But when you look at what you guys were able to do in the first half, what do you have to do better? You know, cover him better, get pressure. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, he's a really good player. You know, I think when we give up 273, 373 yards, that's clearly probably 100 yards underneath their average. Um, but, you know, he made enough completions and made some plays. I mean, you know, their one touchdown in the second half, you know, the one touchdown in the second half, he carries it. I think Nate Temple's on him, and he throws touchdown pass. The only problem is the tight end blocking about 12 yards down the field, which should be called. He's blocking it with a run. And, uh, you know, but the penalties are on us and not on them. So, I, you know, I don't know what else to tell you. He's a good football player. You know, you know I, I don't know what you, you, you know, give him a lot of credit. Uh, he, he's, a, he's a really good football player. Pat, you mentioned last one. You mentioned uh, the, the punt returns they had, uh, including the touchdown. Both of those came on punts that were at least 50 yards. Just in addition to leaving it maybe more in the middle of the field, was was there any th any issues there, maybe with, with with hang time? Anything you saw in, in real time? That you know, I didn't get the hang time on it. I'm kind of mad that I didn't get it. I was looking for it, and, and uh, you know, they were busy trying to fix something else and didn't get it. But the hang time looked good. I don't know if we out kicked our coverage, um, but our gunners got wired up. I know that. Uh, and they got blocked to the field and he took it. So, um, you know, uh, from from the field, you know, the punt, you know, it's more location as opposed to hang time, I don't think. But, you know, I don't have a long stop watch on it. I apologize. Coach, thank you very much.